Hey guys, it's Video Avengers again, and this time we're looking at the replay sent in by Sergio Steel. He's in the KD1S, and this is an. Well, this thing used to be a tier 6, and it was a monster back there, and now it's been split into two tanks, and the KV1S that we, we used to know is right now the KV85. It has this monstrous 122mm gun. This thing, however, has been dropped down a tier and now has a main 85mm gun on it, or can be equipped with a 122mm howitzer. And it's pretty similar to the KV1, the standard Russian tier 5 that has always been a tier 5. But, well, to be honest, that thing used to be the KV, and it was basically the KV2 at tier 5, which is pretty OP. Imagine the KV2 as it is right now, but with tier 5 matchmaking and the old World of Tanks matchmaker, where it means that with tier 5 tanks you could see tier 2 tanks. Imagine how OP the KV2 was. The only thing that could penetrate it was pretty much the T1 Heavy and also was the Panzer IV, the old Panzer IV that uh, had the L7 gun. And a long time ago I was arguing with my friends because we know about the, the, the old KV-1S. I was, they were telling me it's well it's KV-1S and I was telling, I was saying no it's KV-I-S because it has an IS turret and it has a KV hole. So actually there has to be an error there and its actual name is the KV-I-S and it seemed pretty reasonable. But uh, if eventually I admitted I was wrong that it's actually KV-1S. But it has made no sense, it's, it has made a lot more sense to be called the KVIS. Whatever. Their fault, not mine. My logic is flawless as usual, but people don't get it. So, this, this match is not looking very good for him. Penetration. They are really losing 3 8. He has two of the three kills of his team. Enemy armor is and at now, his shots were going pretty bad. He has been missing a lot of shots, and Enemy armor is destroyed. luckily, he's not being penetrated by any, any of those tanks. Also, he has a zoom mod, so the reticle actually appears a lot bigger than it actually is. But right now you are going to see some very very good RNG, so there is a KV-1 there, he's trying to take away his shoots and he, as you are going to see he's going to penetrate absolutely every single shot. And look at this, Enemy armor is destroyed. took 22% of that guy's health off. Oh my god, really? Did, did, just, did this game actually get to percentage again? Wow. Okay, now it's better. So there is his top gun. Scores are 8, 11, 7 tanks remaining in, in the enemy team. And the, his two allies right now are in pretty bad position. There is a Panzer Eager there that has almost no chance of surviving against all those tier 5 and 4 tanks. Well, there are more tier 3s to be honest. But the Panzer Jaeger is a tier 2. And he was platooned with somebody. Yeah, with a marble. Wasn't a terrible platoon, but he had a bad matchmaker. So he took died, and now he is really alone against 7 enemy tanks. So let's see how he is going to do He's going for the ramp against this 25. Ramps him for 143 damage. Keeps on his way and the 25 stops for no reason and he gets crushed by the 50 ton KV. Now this 85mm gun has 160 average damage which means that at this tier you can pretty much one shot tanks that are at 25% health or less. As you going to see, Martyr here, gotcha, there is his 8th kill. But this may not be a Redley Walker because a lot of the kills that he made were not tier 4 or higher. So, Redley Walker is only 4 kills in tier 4 or higher. 
this A20, however, is a tier 4, so he's going Enemy to count. Armor is destroyed. And he's dead, as you can see there, the tracking shot. Track fixed. Now, fortunately, this is an encounter, so he doesn't really need to worry about being kept. The Chinu fires at his back. He didn't really get a shot there. And now he has to fight for his last three kills if he's going to manage to make all of them. Now, for the enemy team, the Chinu is able to penetrate him, however, the guy is on very low health, so at the best, he's going to put one penetrating shot into him. The Martyr is a threat. There is a Chinu. And not anymore. And there is the martyr, look at this, 165 health, Enemy is hit. 4 health remaining, and he penetrates and leaves him on 183 health, that's pretty, that's not really that close considering the last tank is a T46, if the T46 has the 76mm gun he has no chance of penetrating the KV-1S, other than that other guns that that guy might have, maybe the 37mm with the autoloader has a chance of doing some damage but not really much considering that Serjuk still is able to kill him pretty quickly he starts the cap and he is now right now deciding will the greed for the last kill be bigger than the instinct of winning and the T60 says his last friend is your last friend is at a E2 and E2 is exactly in their spawn so Serjuk is, uh, is probably thinking that that guy is ASK the Stuk 3 however says don't listen and if that T46 really is a TFK even though he's a low tier and he probably wouldn't be so smart to just outrun him if he was a, a good player we, we you could never know because I don't have XVM on uh, it's because if he was paying attention he could just try running away and hide somewhere and Sergio would never be able to find him if he goes up E2 and he doesn't find T46 he doesn't have time to go back and start the cap and so it's the decision is the greed bigger and it actually is he wants the last kill and he's hoping that T46 is AFK. He's listening to an enemy. Will it be real? Or is it T46 just hiding over here? No spoiler. Hiding right there after that house and he's going to troll him and th make him think that he's AFK or somewhere. And it's going to be a draw. Is that the case? Well, there's only one way to find out. He's coming in. He's going very around, I don't know why. If I were him, I would just drive forward. He's just trying to take the T46 by surprise, but yeah. So let's see. He's very close to E2, but there is nothing spotted. Where's the Stug lying? There he is. And somebody says that he saw him turning his turret. So it looks like he was a bot. Probably he was a bot. And one shot. Boom! The 13th kill. And this time it was a lucky number, just 13, not a hard luck bringing number. He just finished off this T46. Look at how his exhaust is completely blown over, look at the, him thinking, oh well, it, it maybe was better if I wasn't AFK, well, now you know how it is to be in a, AFK in a T46 in a tier 5 game. So let's insert post game stats. So 55,000 credits, 2,550 free experience, did he get Redley Walters, actually he got a Pools medal, and it doesn't say anything thanks tier 4 or higher so I'm probably just making things up in my brain probably I'm remembering the old Bolters medal colorblown of medal of course steel old top gun high caliber lots of battle achievements here 
far for effect demolition expert because he managed to, to demolish a 50 HP cruiser with an ammo rack. Completely worth ammo rack. Shell proof, duelist, hand of god, and bruiser, team score. Yeah, nothing really much to talk about. He pretty much did twice. I think even more. No, he did a. He did, let's. Yeah, he did twice the amount of damage his entire team combined did. So, yeah, that's that's pretty an average result, I'd say. That happens to me in almost every game, except I'm not the guy on top. I'm. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, 38 shots, 29 hits, 24 penetrated. Yeah, th that was a joke you were supposed to laugh, but. You know, it's not my fault that you're not laughing. You know, completely not my fault. It's your fault that you're not understanding my very, very good and well thought jokes. And 1100 damage blocked by armor. 13 vehicles damaged and 13 destroyed. Yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys. You've been awesome, and don't forget about my one shot thingy. You have to send me re the. Um, Replace that you have where you emorect somebody on my email and I'm going to be putting in the description of this video a link to the video where I tell you about the contest for those of you who don't know. So thanks for watching guys, you've been awesome and have an absolutely awesome day. See you later.